the audio kind of got screwed up in a previous video, and uh, that's just the reason he sliced it down like that. Uh, so Maxter basically uh, is taking advantage of Mono in the sense that uh, Mono is assuming Linux to be in need of emulating Microsoft and actually copying Microsoft. Uh, and by doing so, Mono allows Microsoft to claim that the platform is uh, its own platforms, you know, especially Windows, are in a position of advantage because they are a first-class citizen and Linux is just a second-class citizen. Uh, and basically, to make the, set, the, the, the prophecy may come true if, if the goal of Linux is then to emulate Windows, in which case we just can see Windows to be ahead and Linux be in need of copying uh, things. And with or without patents, it's just going to be a big issue for you know for free software. Uh, and and that's just for reasons I'll explain now. And well, even though I, I did cover patents before, and I, I I don't know if we did it well enough, but uh, the uh, the thing about the, the patents on Mono, uh, they actually give some legal reasons uh, to perhaps sue Mono, which might so wishes to, or at least use fun tactics to discourage people to use Mono. Uh, and then have to move over to Visual Studio and to .NET and things like that. Uh, so there is the Microsoft community promise to to just put it very concisely. It's basically saying, well, you can use this and you cannot use that. You cannot deviate from the Microsoft standard as uh, as per ECMA, uh, you know, the ECMA so-called standard for the uh, .NET framework and well, actually C sharp. Uh, but what it's doing, it's uh, setting up limits uh, we, where Microsoft is allowed to work in certain ways with .NET, but certain things are not allowed to work, and if they do work in Mono, they will need to pay a tax on uh, patents, or they will risk litigation or actually be sued, basically. So, this is the truth of Mono. You know, there is also this issue of patents, and we do know it exists since 2009. I think it was June 2009 when Microsoft released this statement following all kinds of threats. Uh, uh, and uh, speculations about the threats of patents to Mono. Uh, so Microsoft actually validated the threat in some sense, and uh, since then things have not been so rosy for uh, Mono. And I, I think that's all I have to say about patents for now. I think people uh, emphasize it to an extreme extent that Mono is, in fact, a patent infringement from Microsoft's point of view. And uh, one of the evangelists of Microsoft said that, the, that Microsoft actually was trying not to encourage people to use Mono in public because it reserves the, the right to sue and this is a direct quote from uh, Scoble.